Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 29th, 2019. Hey guys, before we get started here, I want to apologize for my voice a little bit. If you catch me coughing or sniffling, I'm still trying to fight this cold, so I, I just want to apologize ahead of time if that if that does occur. This morning, we had a major new development um, at 5.30, around 5.30 a.m. this morning. China finally let us know that they are willing to renegotiate or willing to negotiate, come back to the negotiations table. And um, they want to apparently put together a deal. They don't want to escalate the trade war. That is took futures that were looking very, very bearish and completely reversed them this morning. And we're looking for a very positive open this morning on that news. Big gap up is what we're looking at this morning. Now let's keep in mind that we want to be really, really careful not to get caught up in the hype. And there's going to be some pain here this morning. There's a lot of folks that are short the market and they're going to experience some a painful open this morning. And so expect a lot of volatility around this morning open. We could see a lot of swinging back and forth, a lot of emotion here in the market. But let's take a look at the technicals and see what we have to look at. First, look right now we're looking to gap up into here. Now, please keep in mind, we still have a bunch of things that we have to deal with on the um, earnings calendar and um, the economic calendar yet this morning that could change this quite a bit before the market opens. But we're gapping right up into this resistance level of price here on the Dow. So we have this resistance that we still have to deal with here in the chart. And so far, that's where we're gapping to. Let's also keep in mind our 50-day moving average is still higher here, that we still have the challenges of, of these resistance levels in the charts that we have to defeat. So you're going to want to be careful not to just chase into this and blindly think, oh my goodness, everything is better now. Because remember, saying they're willing to come back to the table does not constitute a deal. Um, we can expect a lot more fireworks before this thing is over. So kind of keep that in mind and be careful. Make sure you hold on to your edge that you remain disciplined to a set of rules. You don't want to just chase directly into this. What if we were to get some additional news that would flip it the other direction. Um, and we know that that is certainly possible in this market. So keep that in mind as we move forward. But right now, looking very, very good this morning, very positive, unless you happen to be a bear. If you're a bear, this is going to be a painful morning. Um, um, and we could see, we could experience what's called a short squeeze this morning. Now, a short squeeze is when there's a lot of traders already short the market. They've been pushing, pushing, pushing for some down move here in the market. And what happens in a short squeeze is often that um, that action where the, where the short traders are forced to buy to cover actually pushes the, the market higher, kind of cascades on itself. We've got the long traders buying and we've got short traders being forced to buy to cover. And that can create a big, a big move on the day. I can't tell you that's exactly what's going to happen, but there's a possibility of that today. And we're going to want to watch carefully for that. Be really careful chasing into this market this morning. Remember, we're likely to see some really wild price volatility this morning. So uh, plan your trading carefully and stay disciplined to your rules. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY also getting a nice gap up now it's still got not gapping quite as far as the diamonds um uh, is, is gapping gapping up into here that's a significant gap but let's please keep in mind that we're still going to be beneath significant levels of resistance here in the chart and we're also still going going to be below our 15 day moving averages um which will likely provide some resistance so we'll want to keep that in mind if those bulls continue to push today, that could certainly change. 
but let's watch that very carefully. Um, let's take a look at the queues. Queues also getting a big, big pop up this morning, looking very, very positive here um, this morning, following through to the upside. But once again, we're going to smash right into some levels of price resistance in the chart. And we still haven't um, broken through um, overall downtrends or anything like that um, in this chart. So keep that in mind. And we still have that 50-day moving average up here. So while this is very, very bullish and very, very positive, we want to be careful about chasing in just in case there happens to be that next that next news report that that flips us the other direction and we don't want to get caught again um, in that kind of volatility so watch this pretty close let's take a look at IWM IWM has been just so sick and even though it is popping up this morning that does not change how sick this index is right now and this downtrend looking very bearish overall the one bullish thing is it did hold on to this price support yesterday and gapping up this morning certainly will put a little pressure on anyone that's holding this short but that doesn't reverse um, one day does not make a trend and it does not reverse um, the overall bearishness that we're seeing in this chart on IWM so keep that in mind let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX <coughs> would have had had China not made that that news this morning, the bond yields uh, uh, that are continuing to show uh, major stress, um, bond yields, uh, 30-year bonds seeking new lows last night, um, would have would have likely seen a spike, a, a a substantial spike, actually in the VIX. Now with this news this morning, we're going to probably look with such a big move up, we're going to look for that VIX to decline fairly sharply here this morning that could be um, really good news for the bulls really bad news for the bears so keep that in mind um, we're going to want one to watch this level right in here uh, for that support level um, and if we happen to drift below that we're going to watch this downtrend line to see if it catches some support in here so still a lot of questions that have to be answered and while it's very very uh, nice to see such a relief rally and a little bit of clarity starting to come in. We still have a lot of decisions that need to be made and um, this negotiation is still likely going to take uh, weeks if not months to complete. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got a long ways to go before that is completely resolved. And let's also keep in mind that we still have the problems with Brexit. We still have the problems with inverted yield curve. We still have the problems of fears of potential recession. We still have the problems of a global slowdown. So <clears throat> while this is very, very bullish today, we want to remember that this doesn't resolve all of those things and that one day move does not make a trend. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122 was kind of pushing down here um, and, and beginning to give us a little bit of a worry here that we could move lower this morning and looking at the overnight futures. And now we've popped up here um, in, a, in a big way. And I would suspect that with this big move today, we could, because it's kind of an all, all or nothing move that this market is making. Um, and unfortunately, what that means is we could spike all the way up here into the bearish reversal zone in just one day. And that can, I wish that wouldn't occur. I wish we could kind of get out of this all or nothing whipping back and forth and kind of get some stability back in the market. But if we whip all the way up here to that bearish re uh, reversal zone, just kind of keep that in mind. We, we could snap right up there first thing this morning, creating um, that little bit of concern that we've stretched it too far too fast. And that can create that reaction move back down so keep that in mind we've still got some work to do here we're not out of the woods yet and t2122 may um, indicate that early this morning that we have snapped up way too high too fast and there could be that reactionary move so watch that close
Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Now our calendar is going to have something to say about the market today because we have some big reports. We have that GDP number coming out this morning and according to consensus it's going to stay pretty stable. We should stay right around that 2% GDP which is is okay. I think we're okay in our current market condition being around 2%. However if that can um, gives us a surprise that could certainly move the market around of course we have international trading goods and we have the jobless claims all of those probably expected to come in pretty good um, overall um, those numbers have been holding pretty consistent if we take a look uh, throughout the rest of the day we have a pending home sales report at 10 o'clock and natural gas report at 10 30 and then the fed balance sheet uh, down here at 4 30. Pending home sales could move the market around a little bit. I really highly doubt the natural gas will move us around, and I really doubt that the, the Fed balance sheet will have any effect on the market at all. But those are the things we're going to want to watch today, kind of keep an eye on that. Also remember tomorrow we have personal income and outlays that definitely can move the market around. Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment coming out tomorrow as well. So kind of keep in mind we just have a few more things before we get through this week but this has been this news today is certainly a relief a wonderful relief that maybe China is um, willing to negotiate. Let's hope this isn't just um, a tactic and that they actually follow through um, with what they're saying here and um, honestly negotiate to see if we can put something together. We don't know, and no one knows if that's going to be the case yet, so we'll want to keep that in mind. Remain disciplined to your trading. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching the video on Facebook. And also click those thumbs up buttons, you know, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. If you feel the video is worthy of, of that, I truly would appreciate that. And that, those Clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a comment helps the algorithms to show these videos to more folks. You guys are responsible for the growth. I do the very best job I can to put out good quality content without the typical hype and prediction and all those kind of things that people see um, other places. I want to be uh, very concise and and. Um, focused in on the technicals of the chart and if you find that helpful please leave that comment and click those thumbs up buttons you guys are awesome and by the way your your comments are so humbling to me um, thank you so much for everyone who does that you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it and always feel free to share these videos with any friends and family they're uh, free to everyone so please make sure to share those if you feel that they are worthy so with that everyone let's take a look at some charts that are setting up that i think have some potential now i want to remind everyone when i do show a chart um, in these videos um, they are meant as a watch list chart they are meant as a learning tool they are not um, a recommendation to buy or sell any security okay so kind of keep that in mind we'll want to watch these really really closely and there might be some trades that could um, really set up and, and do well for us um, if the price action comes around and this morning could be really challenging because a lot of stocks could gap this morning um, and making it really difficult to enter let's take a look at ttwo i really like this chart now ttwo in this beautiful price trend and just trending 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 looking really really good had some volatility up here but you gotta admit it's held up really really well considering how difficult the market has been here recently <clears throat> now this morning looks like we could gap a little bit higher here we could move up on ttwo and i'm watching this and i think it's about time that this would um, give us that opportunity to maybe see that move higher so let's watch ttwo pretty closely very nice chart good opportunity possibly presenting itself here um, in that trade Another chart we've been watching pretty closely in right-way options 
is Amgen. Now, Amgen has moved up very nicely here. It ran up and slammed into this price resistance yesterday, got a little bit of a pullback, but I think Amgen still has that potential to move higher. <clears throat> I wouldn't be too surprised to see Amgen kind of consolidate over toward its trend here before it goes, but we want to keep an eye on this <clears throat> Because it is entirely possible Amgen could pop through and then pull back to its trend before it goes. So watch um, Amgen. Um, it's looking very, very strong and has held up really, really well overall in this market. Take a look at Home Depot. Now, Home Depot made a beautiful move yesterday. Really, really strong. This is one I've been talking about. And popped up here nicely yesterday. And this morning, it's looking like it's going to gap even higher. I wouldn't want to chase that move, but we want to watch this for any rest or consolidation or pullback in that trade for that next entry into the trade. Home Depot is holding up strong, looking really, really good, and is definitely one that should be on your list for that next entry into the trade. We've been keeping a pretty close high on these defensive sector stocks, and Coca-Cola made a really nice move yesterday, uh, moving up, and it looks like it's gapping higher this morning. Um, any uh, I know a lot of folks in right way options uh, have already taken some profits on this. Uh, some continue to hold this trade. Um, Coca-Cola looking very, very good um, and continuing to show good signs. Now, when the market moves strongly higher, some of these defensive stocks can suffer. We could see some selling in those today. So kind of keep that in mind. It might be a good reason if you are holding Coca-Cola to think about using that gap as a gift and closing that trade this morning and taking your profits. So watch that pretty closely. Coke could be one of those that could be a nice profit uh trade this morning pulling those gains off we've also been watching like tyson tyson had an ugly little pullback here a couple of days ago but you can see responded back nicely yesterday and tyson could move on higher here again one of those defensive sector stocks sometimes they can suffer when the market really gets busy and rallying but um, Tyson continuing to set up a very nice pattern here, looking pretty good overall. I still like this Mitch an awful lot. MTCH holding up really, really good and nice little consolidating move here. Let's watch this and see if that moves over toward this trend. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Um, it could continue to consolidate that move over toward the trend. We're going to want to watch that to see if we get that next move out of here off that trend. Um, other stocks that just continue to uh, kind of consolidate, struggle around in here um, would be Starbucks. Starbucks moving up through here. Now, I think I would place right now, I would want to alert right in here to see if we can finally break higher. And it looks like um, Starbucks is going to gap up this morning on this news, maybe popping right up into there, maybe even above that level. So Starbucks looking strong. I would expect an attack of this level up here and maybe even higher as Starbucks continues to move uh, move up nicely in this trend. Um, take a look at uh, Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble made a really nice move up yesterday. The last few days been moving up. Procter continue, continuing to look very good. Once again, kind of a defensive sector stock, one to keep an eye on. Um, as it moves on higher. So watch that pretty closely. So there's a few stocks for your list. There's still a lot more out there to be paying attention to, but hopefully that will help you get started with a good watch list. Um, if you guys have questions, please feel free to post those. And if there's anything you know um, that I can do, uh, please let me know. Um, I, I have a very, very busy schedule. I, I I like to answer all of the um, the posts um, that are are put on these videos. I often cannot get to them. Um, I will do the I do the best job I can at answering a lot of those. So um, don't feel bad if I don't respond to something um, very quickly. I have a lot of responses that I need to take care of. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day, and I want to wish you the very very best in your trading. 
Today could be a little bit wild this morning. If you've been challenged in this market, today may not be the day to just jump right back in because we're likely to see quite a little bit of price volatility this morning. Keep, uh, keep your powder dry. Wait for your edge to return in the market. This is a positive development, and let's hope that that continues on, that China is actually going to follow through and we can get a trade deal. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great day. We'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.